Energetic here. I think in Australia everyone's a bit more laid back, like, yeah, yeah. Don't get ahead Yeah, you're all right. <laughs> but here you're just all, I can feel the energy in the room, and I like it. Well, I can tell you from the beginning step in the halls, while everyone's taking breaks, they absolutely adore all of you. I mean, the stories that I've heard from the fans out here, what they had to do to get here today is, I don't know if you guys got to hear them in some of your your panels um, earlier or even in your round tables, but someone had a car that broke down two hours away that they took a you know rental here. There have been people that were in lockdown and were able to, I mean, just amazing, amazing feats to get here and be with all four of you beautiful women today. So Thanks for so coming. We appreciate it, guys. I also would like to add, um, and thank you for that, for letting us know, but I've also been hearing whispers on the street and in my round panel about how freaking amazing you are. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah. 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 Hyped by you, so you've been amazing at, you. at not only this one but all of the events you've attended. So thanks, Steph. Yes, you're the ultimate hype girl. Woo! Everyone needs a hype girl, right? And you're it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna put that. I'm, I'm doing an Instagram, so now I'll be a hype girl, Instagram girl. <laughs> we can take you out. Can we just take Stephanie out with us to New York tomorrow, and you can be just hype everyone up. Yeah, yeah. sounds hey, good. Everybody, they're here. We'll continue the party. <laughs> well, and you know what? That's what you should do next time, Kiana. She's like, shit, don't start more crap here. All right, so wait, let's get on to some more important. For under your chairs, Kate already grabbed hers. And are we doing every Okay, you don't pretend like you don't know the answer to this. They already told Kiana, they're like, we want to do all the cast members, not just up on us up on stage. So I listen to direction very well. We, we can do half the game with the actors and then we can do maybe half the game with the characters, what the characters would do. Maybe my last question from yesterday that they don't know about. I have no idea. I'm okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right. So I'm going to ask the question. What was that? That was me putting a microphone down. Oh, I, think, I think the microphone was getting afraid of what's about to happen. All right. We did some of these questions yesterday. But I might have to pick up some new ones today. All right, who is most likely to have on mismatched socks? <laughs> We're looking for the characters. All the use of the characters. Did you, oh, no, the actors. All the other actors. Doing actors. All the other actors. But, but not just here. We're talking about all of them and the whole of Wentworth. No. Oh, okay. Oh, what are we doing rather than just us? I don't know. I just arrived. This is actors. <laughs> Who's running this show? It's like a it's like a train going off the rails. No, I just say, because I know that it was all just between us four, but I think all of us were like, oh, it was just kind of just between yeah. us four. As okay, we'll do the entire oh, all yeah. of the cast yeah. members. All right, ever been on. So there. it's all the actors. Yes. Yes. All the actors that were on one room. Okay. Who's most likely to wear odd socks? Who's most likely to wear mismatched socks? <laughs> <laughs> All right, turn them around. Let me definitely take the cake. We'll have to let her know. I should have gone with my 
I was actually going to write me and I thought, you're not writing yourself. Just remember, this is being live streamed, so all the other cast members will be able to watch us at some point and know what you said. <laughs> so what happens at Wentworth Con apparently right now does not stay here. Um, all right, since we're doing all the actors, I'm going to go back to some of the good questions from yesterday. Who is most likely to get up to er get up early to work out? Yesterday it was a rounding, right? Everyone had the same answer. Oh, I'm peeking. What do you guys think the answer would be? Tommy. <laughs> you think these skinny legs? <laughs> you know, all they want to do is see you show your leg again, right? That's all that just happens here. All right, turn them around. Wow! Did you see Danielle's, Danielle's mouth just dropped? She was like, what? I mean, seriously. And the, and the, what are, what is that called when they wrap around your arm like that? This? Yeah. Um, um, bondage. I did mention wet dreams tonight, so I think you just added to that dream. Um, oh boy. All right. Who is most likely, we're going to see if this answer still stays the same today. Who is most likely to arrive 15 minutes late? <laughs> I'm not even going to ask you guys because I'm curious. <laughs> All right, turn around. I wouldn't say now. Libby. Libby. Me. Dan. Oh, it's an even. It's a tie. <laughs> Wow! Apparently they come in in the same car. <laughs> but to be fair, Libby would only be late because she had mismatched socks. <laughs> Go on, help me on the next question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who is most likely to show up to a party with homemade treats? Celia. I have a feeling, I know what you guys are going to say. What do you, what do you guys think? Are you sure you're done? Because you're writing a novel there. Well, now you're changing it. I don't know what's happening. All right. Oh, okay. What do you guys say again? All right, I heard like two names out there. I heard Celia and something else. Okay, turn around. Oh wow, we're all over the place. And, and I gotta tell you, I thought. <laughs> and you know what? And we don't. Didn't you do a cooking show during COVID? Someone just told me that, so I thought for sure they were all going to say your name. But Jackie's treats would taste a lot better than mine. Let me give you that one too. Libby's cracking up. She goes, can we say that? <laughs> it's legal in New Jersey. <laughs> okay. Let's hear it for New Jersey. All right, Danielle says me. Oh, wow. You say Bernie. What does that say? Snickers and Bernie. Oh, well, Bernie gets it. Bernie, we know where to go next time. All right. Who is most likely to give you a nickname? Oh, what do you guys think it is? I hear Nicole and Robbie out there. All right, turn it around. Nicole, Tammy, Tammy, Nicole. All right. Did Tammy ever give you a nickname? Yeah, no, that's what Nicole. Oh. What was it? Oh no, it was always. Oh, it would change every time. It'd be like, you know, it would change every time. It'd be like, you know, buttercup or buttercup. Buttercup. <laughs> we just keep rolling with the same thing over here. A little Freudian slip there. <laughs> Cunty? She used to call me Cunty. Hello, Cunty. <laughs> she nicknamed me right on the show. You got an old nickname on the show, right? Did I? 
Rand. Yeah, right. Yeah, of course. This is true. All right. You're like, you guys all erased it. They're like, we don't even want to tell our nicknames. Uh, Did you have a nickname on the show? Anyone give you a nickname? Bye. 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 And Tammy, uh, call me Bubba. Bubba. Sugar tits. Well, that, yes. yes. And that one we all know. But why are you always looking at me with a scary face? Libby's like, don't look at me. I did. You, you gave me daggers. Like, don't ask me a question. I'm just trying to keep my fucking eyes out. <laughs> I'm afraid to see what you're like in bed. All right, so. Ooh. All right, so the question is, do you have a nickname at all? A nickname that none of us know. Do you mean in real life? Or? Yeah. Oh, me? <laughs> Both of you. Oh, oh, Tammy called me Noodle. That goes noodle? Years noodle. back. I don't, it's just From Noodle. How are you, all Noodle? Saints. I think it goes back to All Saints. Yeah. She's called me Noodle. Ooh, I, I like that nickname. Really I think it's because I'm a bit of a did sometimes. sometimes. It takes two minutes, you know? <laughs> just give me two minutes, baby. Wait, what only takes two minutes? <laughs> Sorry. All right. No, <laughs> no. Jackie. What about you? Do you have a nickname? Oh, people call me Jack. Um, yeah. Celia calls me. She calls everyone Shazza for some reason. We did hear that yesterday, yeah. right? Um, Jackie Lee. She calls me Jackie Lee. I don't know. Jack's pretty good. Yeah. 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 I like Jack. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So when you're in the city tomorrow, yeah. just tell everyone to call you Jack. Jack. I will. Just Jack. Just Jack. Do you know what that's from? Will and Grace. Will and Grace. Another good, you know, LGBTQ friendly show. Um, all right, let's see. Who is most likely to go to bed first? Are we talking about right now? <laughs> Apparently, she's queen of the naps. We learned that earlier. Um, all right. Oh, who is most likely to go skydiving? What was the question? Who is most likely to go skydiving? Tammy. Tammy. Remember, this can be any cast member. All right, what do you guys say? Wow, it's all over the place out there. All right. What about, wait. Libby, are you still sleeping? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> if they're not, this would be priceless. Oh my god, we're growing up and moving. Yes! yes. Who's gonna jump out of a plane? It's gotta be Tammy. It's Hester. Would you do anything? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, Tammy. Tammy. Oh, yeah, oh Nicole. Okay. That's gutsy. All right. Kat Atkinson is so surprising. Like, she looks like a, a little bird. Yes. She just would like to go back to her comfortable nest, but she's a nut. Like, she's so adventurous. Like, the last time I spoke to her, she's like, yeah, I'm just, like, training wild... I'm just training wild horses in my ranch in the middle of the country. I'm like, say what? Or, like, God, she became a cowgirl. Just went and, like, was riding horses in the middle of the outback. I was like... I've been to that ranch. It's huge. It's ten acres. Oh my wow. On her own. It's always the quiet ones you have to watch out for. I know, always, right? She's also always the last one on the dance floor. Yes, yeah, she loves the dance. Sick moves. See? Always gotta watch out for them. Plus, for another super bright color. What do you guys say? I hear Kim. I hear Katrina. I hear Danielle. We're thinking the actors though. Actors, not the characters. Actors. Oh. Green or any other super bright color. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Do you guys have a? I'm sorry, remember all. Do you have an answer? We're all talking about Dan. Oh. Yeah. Cat, because you're just she's going crazy, crazy. crazy. Do 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 and it wasn't for Wentworth. I'm just doing my go-to. Oh, socks. Oh. Libby. Cat. <laughs> 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 
Dan. I love being a guy. Has Socks ever dyed his hair? Yeah. What color? I think he was blonde for a while. Who's that? Socks. Socks. Oh, yeah, you have socks. I could see him pulling off some, like, crazy hair color. He's got the personality and the height. He picked me up once, and I was like, I don't know where I am. He just like, flung me around. I was like, okay. Um, all right, I like this one. Who's most likely to get lost? <laughs> Regular conversation. She had an amazing quote from childhood earlier. Wasn't that you? Didn't you have that like a crazy amazing quote? Or she's like, what happened earlier? Oh, sorry. <laughs> That was brilliant. That really was. I hope you do post that because I actually want to quote. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. It is a tough one. I think hello. It was very difficult. Yesterday we gave up, so I'm really counting on you four to bring it home. All right, turn around. Oh, Kate. 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 You. I've gone Akko. Oh, no, no, I've gone Kate Box. Oh, Kate Box. Oh. Kate Akko. Oh, we got two Kates. And, oh, no, no, no. all right, we got three. I was going to do you, but then I put a box on the end. It's <laughs> <laughs> a Kate. Do you realize the euphemism? <laughs> what a gorgeous <laughs> box it is. Are you coloring in the box? <laughs> no, you're not coloring in the box. All right. I'm, I'm <laughs> Who is most likely to jump into the pool first? Who is Paul? Where is it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're, at We're, at We're at a pool. We're at a pool at one of your houses. We're at a pool at your house. Okay, it's my pool. It's 28 degrees, whatever that is here. <laughs> I hope it's not 28 degrees here. It's not going to shock you. It's not going to be refreshing. It's going to be pleasant. It's going to be pleasant. You're going to have a cocktail when you get out. Or are they going to have a cocktail before they go in? <laughs> they're going to have a cocktail before you go in. And are they skinny dipping? Oh. Oh. Tammy, Tammy, Tammy. Yeah, I was about to write Tammy too. There you go. Oh, yeah. Tammy yes. overwhelming. She's be naked. Yeah. <laughs> so we definitely need to relay that. All right, last and final question. And it's not on here. But you remember it from yesterday. Do you want? <laughs> what state are we in? Denial. <laughs> Who said that? That's, that's freaking awesome. Everything. A round of applause right out there. All right. You ready for it? <laughs> Mary. Shag, um, kill. Oh, the characters. We're not looking for. We're not looking for a actor. We're looking for a character. A character. That was on. Well, I got yelled at yesterday when I was asking for actors. So today I'm asking. Oh, see, can I up the ante and say you do like? You can do whatever you want. <laughs> we're all here for you. characters, and we write them. I'm gonna do characters and. Oh no, uh, we want to hear your voices for this one, so no writing necessary, unless you want to. I want you to take that microphone, because we want to hear you verbalize this for us. This one's still writing. She's still... I've got to workshop this, it's important. <laughs> Alright, it's, it's all you, Jack. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but if you we want love it. Shank, I won't give it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm taking this seriously, guys. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
just fuck the chair. And I mean, <laughs> That's what she's gonna put down. I'd like to shag the chair. All right. Oh, May 1st? Yeah. Woo. Well, it's your first time in the US, so we thought, why not de virginize you right now? Marry character Bridget. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I would have said, thank you. Shag B. Oh. Kill the free. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't gonna mess up this one. No way. All right. I do pressure Libby. I'd marry you straight away, darling. Oh, because darling. in the long run, we'd work it out. I know. <laughs> Just have to wake yeah. you up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'd work that out. Shag. 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 Anyone. There was so much sex in this show, I don't know how this is the one you're stumped on. Can I say it in front of you, darling? Yeah. It's good to be here again. Oh, oh. Do you know, they should have done a little kissy kissy scene with us. They would have killed You know, you, you can do it right now. They would have killed us. The Bridget and the Bally fans would have annihilated us. Yeah. 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 We would have understood each other well, though. That's true, that's just part of the therapy. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but just kill. Now look, I feel like I did maybe pressure you into that answer. What was your real answer? No, it was always you. <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it. Kill, who are we going to kill? Kill, kill. We'll have to kill her to get you. <laughs> Workshop it all out. I've yeah. workshopped it and I have my answers. Okay. <laughs> Can you do this in a Jersey accent? <laughs> sure. <laughs> the character I'd like to shag. Actually, no, that is that, that I feel like that was something else. That was like Long Island. Like, I've got to do it in my real accent because I don't okay. want because this is serious, guys. Okay, okay. ready? Are you ready? Are really? you listening? <laughs> the character that I would like to shag <laughs> is me. Oh. <laughs> And the actor that I would shag is Dan. <laughs> I mean, we've got to, right? Like, ah! Chester, haven't we already killed me? <laughs> I think Ali would go there, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With a necro. Uh, character that. Oh my god! <laughs> character that I would marry, Bridgie. Oh. Aww. And the actor I would marry. I'm keeping this very local. It's Jackie. Aww. Oh, God, you sweet girl. Great cook. Um, <laughs> now the kill section. And I'm gonna Is that going to stay local too? And I would kill Juicy Lucy and kill Salad. <laughs> like <Juicy> Lucy. <laughs> Go. <laughs> no pressure, Danielle. Oh God. Okay. Oh God. Okay. Oh God. You should have seen that oh, time I, in the I wasn't, Can I take? Honest, I honestly was so interested in your answer. I completely forgot to go with my own. Okay. The the uh, the characters that I would shag. I'd do a three way with Ellie and Frankie. The person I would shag is Bugger Lux. <laughs> so it would, be, it would be consensual then, wouldn't it? Because we both said yes. I, I feel like it's getting very hot in this section. <laughs> Just saying. It's been seven years for us. How do you think we feel? <laughs> um, so, uh, and what was the second one? Mary. Um, the the uh, character that I would marry would be probably Will Jackson. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 
Um, and the the uh, actor that I would marry would be Nicole De Silva because she's fucking amazing at accounts. <laughs> That's not what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> well, you know, it depends, you know, like when you've got to do things with your digits, which I mean. Oh! What comes, you know? What comes? Oh. Smashed comes. Okay. Um, and, um, uh, I, I just, like, killing, killing, I, I don't know, I, I don't know. Just, um, and I would. Um, look, I, I, I reckon I would just kill, um, I'd kill everyone with kindness. Uh. <laughs> Come on. Okay. What's um, the real answer? Uh, well, yeah, but there's obvious, but the freak's already dead because Jack got the freak. I got it. She's already dead. Um, who, 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 uh, oh, the character, okay, the character, I'd come back and kill the freak, yes of course, because you know, like, you know, that shit happened. Um, but in, in, in real life, I really, really don't want to answer this question, I don't think I'd kill anyone. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I just can't do it. You could just kill me for asking the question. I, I don't even want to do that. No, I would lay to rest very peacefully. Um, <laughs> We will take the pain away from you and say you don't have to answer this part. Yeah. But if I could just lay to rest peacefully. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of someone who's really... The goldfish. The goldfish. <laughs> I do want to say the goldfish, but the goldfish is dead and then I'd be a, like, I wouldn't be a not kind person trying to kill an animal. Um, but, you know, I mean, who do you think that I should kill? You'll share it. Read it. Read it. Read it. I do, but, but those are the characters. Me and they done that. What about, the, you know, how can you say you could kill another human being? It's horrible. <laughs> I did it quite easily. I know, I saw. And I thought if I'd back that up, then we would seem really nasty. <laughs> <laughs> She's just a really so. great actor, and she convinced me thoroughly that she was an absolute grub. I can't look, at, honestly, truly, like, I can't even look at the actor and be like, you're, you're a real person. I just see Juicy Lucy. <laughs> I like that you're very, like, you're very decisive. Mm, oh, yeah. No, but you know no why that is? is? You know why she was so decisive? Because she workshopped it. Yes. That's what she cheated. It's workshopped all about it. the planning. Yeah. A lot of planning. Guys, we have enough time for so what, three questions. I don't say mom anymore. <laughs> I try every day, I think, what would Ali do? And then I do the opposite, because she was fucked up. <laughs> So really? No. Not with me. Oh, you were. Oh, you didn't see what happened after. You were gone. Oh, oh, last, time, last time I saw you, you were like you were in a wheelchair and you're wheeling your wheelchair over rocks. What so I was like, that my girl. She's wheeling chairs over rocks and stuff. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Did you get out of it? Levitated. David Copperfield. Maybe we should go for another question. <laughs> Danielle. Oh, what was the question again? <laughs> I'm fucking tired, alright? I was up all night. Some little guy with a hard on, pony boy or something, get me up all night. What was the question again? <laughs> oh, what, what, what I took home from my character. Yeah. With my character. Um, uh, um, being more fair. <laughs> fairness, fairness, fairness. I like it. All right, Blonda. Was no, the I was just being fair. Fairness. Just talk over it if it's okay. <laughs> was the heat press real and and hot? Was it really a real? No, no, no. no. It was a real heat. It was a real steam press. Or steam press. Sorry. Yeah, it was never actually used, and the steam was fake. fake? It was like okay. a yeah prop. Good question. Very good question. All right, over here. What did you guys think of the ending? <sighs> yes. Um, the whole prison blew up. I wanted more. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was a bit nice at the end. I wanted so, a little twist. Yeah. A little Wentworth twist. Mm -hmm. I wanted less, as in less alive people. It's <laughs> <laughs> like the fucking spin off. I'm alive. Where am I? Where's Nick? Yes. Where's the spin off? Jesus. That's what it's going to be called. 
balloons, kites, kites alone. alone. The Frankie and Bridget story. <laughs> A good spin-off sounded like it was happening yesterday when you guys were mentioning, was it Prisoner, when they used to, there's three, right? Oh, three top dogs. There's three top dogs, not yeah. one? That should be the Wentworth spin-off, right? Where there's, in a new Wentworth, where there's three top dogs. Nah, You're no. like scared, please. Who would be it? No? <laughs> oh, whatever. Anyway. I'm just kidding. Guessing <laughs> yes, with you. All right. Are we done? Last Going one. on. Last one. All right. Um, thank you all for being here. I think there's a commonality in the room, um, and I'm not just talking about lesbianism. <laughs> in general, I think each of us come here because your show has impacted us to a great degree, and if you asked any one of us, we could share that, that impact. My question is, what do you hope is your impact for your audience? For this show specifically, or just in general? In general. It's a great question. I, I, I just hope, and, and with this in general, but also across across work, I just hope that people feel something. Mm -hmm. You know, that there's something within the story that either moves them or angers them or, you know, makes them question something. You know, like art should provoke and evoke and, and agitate. And that's what I would hope. Um, and if it's, if it's a source of comfort, that's even better. That's great. I agree. I think it should be cathartic. Absolutely. And if we've done that and if we've given you that place to resonate with them and, and sort of you know, release it in that way, then we've done our job. So that's all we can ask for. I think, yeah, be, being able to take you somewhere, being able to sit in front of a television and just go out of your lounge room and go somewhere, I think is really important. Transport us. Yeah. Fall into prison. This is <laughs> Look, it's not pretty. This is something, you guys have actually answered this question for me so many times, but you often will say to me that you watch this show and you feel seen, and I think that's super important as well. It's great if drama or, uh, can help you escape or uh, move you or uh, elevate you in some way, but also to help people be seen and, and know that they're not alone and that there are other people out there like them that have hardships and, uh, yeah, that they're part of a community, no, no matter how... Um, small that community might be. One more time, everybody. Make a huge... Um, Chris, who is sitting over there, please stand up and everyone say hi to Chris. Hi, they Chris. Are, uh, they have hi, Chris. come today uh, and they have um, made a whole lot of amazing bracelets. So please make friends with Chris. They're so wonderful communicating by tablet today. Yeah, um, but as, as you all have been and continue to be just so generous and caring and supportive of each other, such a great community. So please go and say hi to Chris. I know they're really interested in meeting people and, you know, just having a good time well, with you. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. uh, thanks, Stephanie. Of course. Thanks, Chris. Guys, again, everyone, a big round of